Hi everyone. So we're just going to go over um, this problem here, where um, the problem stated something along the lines of we have this diagram here, um, in which we're analyzing an object that has a mass of two kilograms. We're asked what the x and y. <laughs> Sorry, it's only meant to be just the letter y, not w h y. Man, I'm a little tired. Anyway. <laughs> what are the X and Y components of acceleration on the object? Sorry, I just can't get over that I actually did that. Um, all right, fixed. So this problem actually is deceptively simple. Um, I'm guessing here just the diagram was a little bit mis uh, a little bit misleading, a little bit confusing um, for you guys. Right, so we see here we have a two newton force acting to the left, a three newton force acting down, and then we have another force here acting at some angle that we don't know what the angle is. We're not, we don't have any indication of what the angle is. Um, but we are told here that the horizontal chunk of this vector, the horizontal component of this vector, the extra component I should say, is four newtons, and my y component is three newtons. Right, so it might be more useful here to basically draw our vectors going on here. All right. Where this vector here is four newtons of magnitude and this vector here is three newtons of magnitude. Right? So now basically all we need to do is just sum our forces, right? So if we sum our forces in our x direction, right, let's call positive x to the right and positive y straight up. So if we sum our forces horizontally, so we, this is our net force horizontally, that's going to be mass times our horizontal acceleration. All right? So summing our forces, we've got, ooh, plugging in numbers from the beginning. All right. Um, so we have a positive 4 newtons um, minus 2 newtons, right? Because so we have a positive 4 newtons that's acting to the right and a 2 newtons acting to the left, so that's a negative quantity. And those are only horizontal forces. That's equal to our mass of 2 kilograms times the acceleration we're trying to find, the x component of acceleration. All right, so here we're left with 2 newtons divided by 2 kilograms is equal to our horizontal acceleration. So this leaves us with an answer of positive 1 newtons over kilograms. That simplifies to meters per second squared. And we can see that because 1 newton is equal to a kilogram times meters per second squared. So we got a positive value, which here would mean in the rightward direction. Looking at our y direction, if we sum our forces in the y direction, s mass times our y component of acceleration. All right, looking here, if we sum our forces, we have a positive or upward 3 newtons being the component of this force upwards, um, and 3 newtons down. So we have 3 newtons minus 3 newtons which is a zero is equal to mass times our acceleration. Since mass is um, not going to be zero here, it's two kilograms, then our acceleration has to be zero. So that's that.